Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I've been absent missing in action for a little while um, due to work a couple of days away and then um, if you're not in the UK you'll have perhaps heard a little bit about all the turmoil we've had with um, our referendum Brexit about staying in or leaving the European Union. So it's all been um, a bit apocalyptic here in London, but um, we're still here and uh, I thought I would show you my cult beauty um, beauty bag to cheer myself and the rest of you up, hopefully. Um, so I've done these before. As you know, I like to save up my regular... Um, kind of luxury product purchases so that when there's an offer with a minimum spend um, I can get one of these uh, beauty bags and a lot of the specialist sites do them now. This one is Cult Beauty which is a good site for particularly specialist skincare um, and newish products predominantly from uh, the United States but other places too that are often harder to get um, away from this site uh, when they first become popular. So I think the minimum spend here was, um, I'm going to say £110, I think that was it. So um, just quickly to show you what I bought in order to get it, I got two of these, they're the Aromatherapy Associates, bath and shower oil um, and this is the deep relax they do them in various um, fragrances and if you've watched some of my empties um, videos you'll know that I um, I love this product it's to me the best uh, bath oil for relaxing I actually do think it works it works for me anyway and I've tried a lot over the years it's fiendishly expensive now I think when I started buying these, which is probably only about three years ago, my recollection is they're about £27 for the 55 mil, and they're now £45, which is serious money. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. I've got two of them um, to go straight up to £90. I can't even get the lid off. There we go. Um, I had opened the other one because I've been using it. So it's a generous um, 55 mil bottle. And I will say they do last for ages. You need just literally a few drops because they're very, very heavily fragranced. Um, and it's a really nice, um, relaxing one. This is the deep one for using in the evening. There is a lighter one as well, which is also very nice. So that I got two of. And then I just made up the extra with um, one of the Becca Luminous Blushes. These are the newish blush highlight combined product from Becca, which I was keen to try. I picked out Foxglove from the website as a kind of cool pink. The first thing to say is it's a bit smaller than I expected. Um, six grams, 0.2 ounces. More than enough for me because I don't think I've ever used up a blush before it's dried out. But... Um, Definitely smaller than I thought. I don't know why. Really pretty shimmery shade. Haven't actually worn it on the cheeks yet. Very good pigmentation. It's coming off a lot lighter in my viewfinder than it is there. You can see pretty densely pigmented um, and a definite sheen to it. Um, so I'll report back when I've actually <laughs> bothered to use it. As I say, I've been away um, and I was on a walking holiday um, in the northeast, so <laughs> wasn't really into wearing a lot of makeup um, this last week since I got it. Right, to the beauty bag. So, minimum spend 110, but hopefully a good value number of sample sized products that I will either use or give away or sell on eBay. So what have we got? First of all, oh, quite a nice um, pouch. That's a very generous size. Could definitely use that as a takeaway makeup bag. Uh, Cult Beauty. Quite nicely finished. Yep, 
always in for black works for me. And what's this little fella? Okay, this is Laura Geller, um, Bronze and Brighton in Fair. Have used a couple of her products. I'm very fond of one of her highlighters. I think it's called Portofino, um, which I love using in the inner corner of my eye, probably my favourite kind of lightening. This is one of the baked products. It's a very gentle bronzer, that's the first thing to say, which is good for me. Yep, I could definitely use that. It's not too muddy, definitely not orangey, medium to warmish toned, but not too densely pigmented. So that's a good starter. And then, I don't know how to pronounce these, Saka Juan. I've had one before, um, Swedish Professional Hair Care. This is the Colour Save Shampoo. So this is with Ocean Silk Technology to create a healthy shine and protect your colour. So that's good. It doesn't smell particularly special. Uh, it smells like a very generic... Um, cheap shampoo to be briefly frank but we'll see how that works out then well people beauty conscious cosmetics never heard of this bio brightener invisible powder universal glow sounds interesting teeny teeny dinky pot you know how i love these teeny things oh and it's a teeny amount of powder i have to say but um Kind of, well, there almost is a colour there. Um, definitely shiny. Don't know, I'm going to have to look up and see what that's supposed to be used for. But has me intrigued and I'm always in favour of dinky little pots. And what's this? Uh, this is Emma Hardy. I've had her cleanser, which was quite pleasant. This is amazing face oil. Now, I have to tell you, I'm not a fan of facial oils, or at least I haven't found one so far that I thought was worth the hype. I've had the um, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery that people rave about and didn't do anything for me. I um, keep intending to do a video of my kind of recent night and day skincare regime, but part of it has been the Sunday Riley products. Most of them I really love, but the Lunar Night Oil, again, a rave product for other people, doesn't do it for me. This smells lovely. Um, and I've just finished a Tata Harper, um, another, uh, that's actually not... Um, a night oil as much as a cleansing oil, which um, I wasn't a huge fan of. So I don't know, maybe me and oils just don't really get on. Um, so that might be one that is going away. Then the Pixie Glow Tonic. I've had this before. It's okay, but it's not my favourite exfoliating toner, I have to say. Um, but it, it is a perfectly good product. I just um, prefer other ones to be frank and what have we got here one of these big face masks clear skin holy moly tony moly i love the few tony moly products i've had so far a korean brand um really usually fun products but also very effective and reasonably priced this is a clear skin rice face mask to transform dull skin definitely going to use that Pleased to get that one. And we've got a Kevin O'Quan. Goodness knows what this is. Um, oh, an eye pencil. The eye pencil primitif. Supposedly to give you a creamy coal formula with minimal effort for eyelining. Okay, well. Um, Chanel make my favourite eyeliners, but uh, always good to try something else. I haven't had brilliant experiences with Kevin O'Quan. Then Caudalie Vino Perfect, the um, serum. I think I've had this before and uh, wasn't wild about it, to be honest. Um, 
Sonia Deka Flash Facial Exfoliating Treatment. See results in one minute. That's a promise, isn't it? To reveal fresh young skin. Okay, never tried this before. Excited on that. I like um, I like me a good exfoliator. Here's Becca. I love some Becca. And this is the Evermat Poreless Priming Perfector. Okay, well, this is what I need. Um, forever on the hunt for um, pore perfectors. Although this one said to be a shine control. Shine isn't my problem. Um, rather large pores that my foundation sinks into if I'm not careful is. So this is an oil control primer, which isn't generally quite for me. Although it does say minimises pores and that's what I need. So um, it will be useful to try that in a small size without investing in the full size. I will say I'm pretty pleased with my Tom Ford primer. Um, oh, we've got a supplement here. I love supplements. Nature's Living Superfood. Mm. What's this going to do for me? A green alkalizing whole food supplement. Okay. To be sprinkled on salads or mixed with cereals and desserts. Sounds exciting. Okay, that's something different to get in my beauty bag. Oh, and with that, some sparkling powder for glow skin. Now, I don't know whether you drink this or put it on your face. It's formulated with carbonated waters from France, clearing away toxins. Um, yeah, you do seem to put it on your face. I was thinking it might be a kind of fizzy lemonade. Um, lots of warnings about not using it on scarred skin or dermatitis or eczema. So that sounds a bit... Hmm. It's um, Korean. So that's interesting. A lot of Korean pa um, products coming onto the market now. And I'm loving some of them. The... Um, foundation cushion you know I've been raving about here's Audacity um, facial serum this is an eye contour one so that's always good and last one um, oh Pericone uh, the face finishing moisturizer this is a big tub of that and they're expensive products, so that's kind of um, interesting. The only um, Pericone product I've used, they get a really good um, wrap in the States. I bought one, I think it was a serum, and I found I really couldn't get on with the smell. It smelled, you know, like slightly rotting fish. Um, <laughs> and uh, that wasn't encouraging so I'm slightly nervous about opening this one um, I'll have to read up on it but this is for face and neck in the morning and evening and it's a jolly good sized one fluid ounce um, size so definitely worth having so quite an exciting selection there um, Hope you've enjoyed seeing me open my goodie bag. I genuinely hadn't opened it till now, so it was all new to me and uh, excited to try some of those products. Uh, I promise I will film a video about my skincare very, very soon, um, hopefully by the weekend, and uh, I shall speak to you soon. Bye till then.